will qualify for the final and the two fastest losers. Well, away they go. And uh, let's keep an eye out on uh, lane two for the team from the Czech Republic with uh, Denisa Rosolova on uh, leadoff. Into the shade there, down the back straight. Well, a great start there from Ashley Spencer in the red of the United States. They uh, set the world alight at the Olympic Games last year. They're also the world champions and ran the world lead at the pen relays in Philadelphia in April with a time of 3.22.16. So we'll keep an eye out on the clock for that. But uh, so far, it's at the United States and Italy. In fact, if anything, it's uh, Chiara Bazzoni from uh, Italy who's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Ashley Spencer. Ashley Spencer coming through just to sneak a short lead and she will hand over to uh, Jessica Beard who picks up the baton now and a smooth changeover as you would expect from uh, Jessica Beard with uh, the Italian Marta Milani among the chasing pack Martin. Yes, well that was a good first leg there by Ashley Spencer and Ashley Spencer basically sets things up here for the Americans. They have their advantage now, they're in cold control of the race. They've only got to finish in the first two here. And uh, what you can't really overstate is how important it often is for individuals. Some of them will feel that they're running here for places in the final. So you will see athletes who maybe are on the fringes of the team who will still run eyeballs out, who are not guaranteed their slot in the final. So the likes of uh, Jessica Beard there on the second leg, just starting to struggle a bit in the last 20 or 30 metres, putting in uh, something of an audition for a place in the final. Well, that's been a great second leg there for the Czech Republic by uh, Bartoni Korba. And uh, she hands over the baton into second place to uh, Jana Slaninova with Susanna Henova, the uh, newly crowned 400 metres hurdles champion to come on the final leg. But it's all about the USA. And uh, Joanna Atkins on the third leg for the United States with a huge lead now of what? 50 meters 40 50 meters in the battle for that automatic second qualification now between Italy Ukraine and Czech Republic India as we would have expected I guess way out of it so uh, the race barring any accidents will be won by the United States the Olympic champions and a huge draw for the Ukraine as they come through in second place that's a great third leg by uh, by uh, Lodnyevenka and she hands over to Natalia Pigida for the final leg. So Ukraine in second spot, USA way out in front with Francina McCrory who was uh, a finalist in the individual event a couple of nights ago. And a good back straight there from Ukraine, Natalia Pigida, who we saw in action also in the 400 meters hurdles, but she's been run down by the Italian Libania Greno. So we could have a dust up here. That's the race that's most of interest here. And the Italian, Greno, is making her move on the shoulder of the Ukrainian Pegida in the back straight. It's a real tussle. United States well out. Let's keep an eye on the clock as uh, Francina McCrory brings home the baton in 30, uh, 3 minutes 25.19. And the Italian, as she just got there, Greno pushed all the way there by Pegida from Ukraine. That was the race worth watching for second place. It's a pretty quick time. 3.25, 19 the winning time for the United States. It's outside that uh, world lead set at the pen relays in April. But a fascinating battle there. Well, that was that thrilling battle for second position in the opening heat of the 4x400 four meters relay, which was just given to uh, the Italians there. Greno just holding on that late surge. A season's best for them one hundredth of a second ahead of Ukraine who will have to wait and see if they hang on for a fastest loser place with the second of those three heats coming up now let's go through this lineup in full shall we from lane two it's Nigeria France Trinidad and Tobago Great Britain Botswana and Bahamas there is Ailey Child I reckon the, uh, the legs may be a little weary, 
But after that performance in the 400 meter hurdles, the adrenaline will get her through this. And Britain wisely using the strength of the 400 meter hurdler on this first leg, which is always the most punishing. The three bend stagger. You never quite make it up on the first leg. You really are running in isolation. So child, in lane five, and as you'd expect of her, 100% commitment every time she puts on the running spikes, and she's doing exactly the same here, and she's alongside Gozioni Seleka of Botswana, and up and past her, and that's a terrific start from the Britain. I reckon she's already made six or seven meters on the Botswana, and now she's setting about chasing Amara Jones of the Bahamas. But it is Great Britain who have got the lead here. Nigeria, Patience George has run a good first leg for them. And now Ailey Child must show the 400 meter hurdle strength which he has to bring home the baton and to hand it on to Shana Cox. But Great Britain having a good run. France as well, Marie Gayo, who pass the baton over to the former European 200 meters champion, Muriel Urtis. And it's Urtis who picks up the baton along with Shana Cox. So France and Great Britain leading. Cox has run in committed fashion through that first 100 meters, rather more so than the French girl. But it's Great Britain who have the lead. Shana Cox, the individual 400 meter specialist. She's got about five meters lead. And Britain in control of this second heat. Well, Shana Cox, of course, a very experienced uh, relay runner, part of the team that won the world indoor title for Great Britain in Istanbul last year. So she knows what she's doing. Incidentally, in terms of outdoor performances, Great Britain finished fourth in Daegu two years ago and fifth at the Olympics last year. So Cox onto Adioy. France are in second place. Coming through in third now. Good run from the Bahamas. Nigeria are in fourth. Trinidad and Tobago had worked themselves into third place, have just lost a little bit in the second half of that leg. They're now into fifth place. But Britain looking very strong indeed. And this is another medal opportunity for Great Britain. There's no doubt about that. Committed run there from Amot Soso of uh, Nigeria. Nigeria moving into third place. Just the first two places guaranteeing slots in the final. So Nigeria know they have to get after the French. Britain have a lot in hand. And of course they have the individual champion on the last leg. And Christine Arugu just beckoning and applauding her teammate. She's got the baton into the left, swiftly into the right. And Christine Arugu. Well, she'll barely get out of second or third gear here. In second place for France, that's Floria Gray. And she now being pursued by Regina George. And George is a fine individual runner. So Floria Gay will have to be on her metal here. And the French girl has gone off in committed fashion down the back straight, which I guess is probably not what you can say for Christina Arugu, who doesn't really have to do much more than just jog around here to ensure first spot for Britain. It's a good run from the British girls. Christina Arugu just craning the neck. She's got plenty in hand, but look at this run from Regina George on the last leg. Now, can she see it home? Floria Gray, can she respond when George comes alongside her? The answer is no. It's Britain one, Nigeria two. France will come in through in third. The winning time, 3.25. I reckon the French have done enough there, almost certainly to go through as alterations for the final. They will have Perry Shakes Drayton to call. way of crossing the finish line in the relay didn't really need to uh, bust a gut and uh, Eddie Child got them off to a great start and adding to her burgeoning Javelin throws leaving I think we'll reserve our judgments until we've seen the Russians go in the uh, final heat they are going to be powerful but 325.39 that was a good run France coming through in third 327.75 they are the fast losers at the moment Bahamas medalists last year there is the full lineup they go on the inside lane in lane two Jamaica in four and they're made up of uh, Rosemary White Khalid Spencer Anastasia Leroy and uh, Christine Day so uh, Jamaica in that uh, lane four so
Lengthy delay in getting them to the Twitter communication that we're getting. It's good to hear from you. Well, from Twitter to twitching. And it was Alicia Brown there from Canada who has just given a, a verbal warning. But they're all underway. All teams intact. And we're underway in this uh, third heat. With uh, Russia being roared on on the inside in lane two with Yulia Kushina, who's already up on the shoulder of uh, the Romanian Painenke. And uh, passes her with ease. Also going well is uh, the Jamaican, as you expect. And it's Russia and Jamaica. The favourites to qualify from this heat who are running well on this opening leg from Jamaica. Rosemary White coming around there in the centre of your picture in the uh, yellow and gold of Jamaica. Also running well from uh, Poland, Algozota Holub. So these three nations running well. Also the Belarusian team. So it's pretty tight. Who's going to hold on first? It's Poland actually who... Uh, and over first, Russia on the inside leg. And the Russian on the second leg is uh, Tatiana Ferova. And Tatiana Ferova is being uh, roared on, just overtaken there by Kali Spencer down the back straight. So Kali Spencer moves across as the athletes leave their lanes. And Kali Spencer has a, a lead of a couple of metres over Tatiana Ferova from Russia. So Jamaica one, Russia two. Looks like Canada in three, or Poland in three, I should say, with uh, Patricia Viskiewicz. But a good leg, this, from uh, Kelly Spencer. And Kelly Spencer will be handing over to uh, Anastasia Leroy. But a good light surge there from the Russian team. And it's Natalia Antruk now, Martin, the former Olympic champion, who sets them on their way on this third leg. Yes, well, the Russians are going to take a bit of beating when we get through to the final, and they do have all sorts of combinations that they can use. Antioch, who, well, she was an individual bronze medalist in the 400 metres. Going back to Athens, I think it was, before she switched to the hurdles to such good effect. But this is very competitive indeed, and it does go to show that this women's 4x400 metre relay, when we get to the final, will be a real ding-dong with uh, Britain right in the mix. So, Russia heading down the back straight as we enter the final stages of this 4x4 relay and Natalia Anchuk has run a very very good third leg there and we'll hand over to Ksenia Rizova Rizova is already on her way Jamaica in second with uh, Christine Day on the anchor leg and Poland at the moment are leading the surge for that one of those fastest lose a burst but it's a real bunch up there four nations all vying and the Polish athlete at the moment I'm afraid he's going backwards and it's been overtaken there but no doubt about it it's Russia way out in front Ksenia Rizhova remember the winning time of the first two heats around 325 no doubt that Russia will qualify automatically no doubt either that Jamaica will also qualify the real race is unfolding behind and it's a moment, it's Belarus, the Belarusian athlete coming through to take that third spot as Russia crossed the line. 3.23.54, it is faster. And the battle there for that third place. Well, that was an interesting final leg there. Poland run out of it in the end. Russia safely home. across the three heats. This could be very, very close indeed because uh, the teams that pass through in third, fourth and fifth spots were in round about 328, 320 and that should be a disqualification because she has gained an advantage. Well, that is just extraordinary lack of discipline, isn't it, by Rosemary White. The pictures there told the story. It wasn't just on the line, clearly in the line at the moment no disqualification but we will watch that with interest they did finish in second place in that third heat comfortably so and their confirmation also on that graphic that Romania did just claim one of the fastest loser berths so Romania so the full list of qualifiers